We have tutorials on how to capture images and videos using the Camera 2 APIs. We have tutorials on how to display those images and videos by creating galleries. In this new series, we're going to be showing you the different ways of sharing those images and videos. <laughs> Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name's Nigel. Okay, this is the first part of a new tutorial series where we're going to be showing you how you can share your images and videos to social media. And this episode is going to be the very first episode of where we get our initial code base to work from. So we're going to be working on an existing application which already displays our videos and our images and we're going to be actually then setting up the share, sharing those images and videos to other friends or social media accounts, etc. Okay, so let's make a start. Okay, I have a website here which basically describes what's happening. But the very first step we want to do is to get the code. And in this situation, the code's located in a version control host called GitHub. It's a very popular place. So we put our code up there to protect it, to version control it. And we can also share it and it can do bunch of other stuff but this tutorial is not about github but we want to go there so i'm going to just click on this link here and i will highlight the uri location here and here it is here so we need to go to this location here and i will put a link in the youtube description of this uri and the next step here is to go to the green box nicely highlighted for us and we want the media we want the web URI here. So we just want to copy that. Right, next step here is to go to Android Studio. And next step here is to open Android Studio. Here it is here. We've got a bunch of options here. We want to go to the middle one. Check out project from version control. As I mentioned, we have version control, the project base code we're going to be working from. And the project is in GitHub. So there's a good indication there, github.com, GitHub, select that. And it's asking me for my password, so hopefully I can remember that. Okay, so we want to paste on the top git repository URI, we want to paste in the URL that we just copied across, there we are. And I already have in the directory name, it's a warning there, that's from the original project we're using the code from there. I'm going to change that, you might probably won't get this warning, but you can rename your directory name to whatever you want to here. For this example, because it's a media share tutorial series, I'm going to call this a media share. And then click clone. And it's like, yes, I want to open the project after I've synced it. Uh, close the hints. Uh, wait for Gradle to build. I'm going to update and get the latest version of Instant Run. Okay, it says Gradle build finished in 16 seconds. Not too sure I entirely believe that, never mind. And what I'm doing here is I'm just opening up. So when you sync down code from GitHub, you want to see there is actually any code in there. So I'm just going to open up full screen image activity because we're going to be working on that later on. Okay, I've got code there, that's a good sign. Another good practice is to actually run this project on your device. I have an Android device. I'm going to run this app now just to see that the code actually works. And just let me record that so you can see what's happening on the device. 
there it is there. We've got the image viewer there showing thumbnails of images and videos there. The application successfully stored, uh, installed and is running. So that concludes the introduction to the Media Share tutorial series. This was a nice and short tutorial. It was mainly targeted towards people new to Android Studio, GitHub development, the newbies. So just to get a project downloaded from GitHub and installed on your device. I do get questions about this all the time. So now I'm setting up an official tutorial on how to get the base code for some of my tutorials. So that concludes this tutorial. If you want to get notified of future tutorials that I'm working on, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. Anyway, that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for taking the time for watching this and bye for now.